Hey, it's Ron Agee with your motivational message. I've uh, been feeling a little bit under the weather. I had to be, well, I went to the emergency room the other day, couldn't quite figure out uh, why my system was so tight and bloated, and maybe because I was on a new medication, uh, kind of got freaked out, went there, all my vital signs look good. Um, I am on an antibiotic for a bladder infection. Um, so I'm here and I'm glad to be able to share uh, again with you. I'm thinking back over the last month. I have had a, uh, an opportunity to talk uh, to a couple small groups and encourage them. And the first one was quite difficult for me because it was 13 uh, well, the 13 people, but about eight quadriplegics, uh, newly disabled, that were sitting there. And I had to try to share with them. Here's a guy, 31 years in a wheelchair, and they just had their injury accident from, you know, a truck accident hit by a train to um, diving into a, a lake, flipping off of a four wheeler. Um, being in the back seat of a car with no seatbelt and a car crash, and there's families involved, and, and I sat in front of them, and I'm thinking, "What do you say?" And I, I just gave them words of encouragement that is that you, you're probably not going to stay in this condition, but if you do, it's doable. It's hard. It'd be one of the hardest things you do. Uh, you're going to wake up, and you're going to have to rely on people. That you already got that, and the only secret I have, the same thing I have for you is one day at a time. And we got to spend quite a bit of time hanging out with the guys and and the ladies, the moms, and the wives. My wife got to share. My daughter got to hang out with one of the quads' uh, daughter. And it was, it was beautiful. And then that, that night, uh, I did speak to a small uh kind of homeless uh, church in downtown that just was it was it was sad there were lots of poor kids um, parents were druggies moms were prostitutes and these 40 kids sat in front of me in a church and, and they warned me that they were rambunctious because they were 4 year old up to 12 and I said well I'll do my best and then they told them, well, <laughs> there's cookies in the back. So as soon as Ron Hagee's done talking to you, you can get some cookies. And I thought, wow, you're setting me up. These guys aren't going to, they just want to be done with me. Cookies. So I, I, I started speaking it. And before, you know it, they were tuned right in. And in the end, they stayed the whole time. They didn't want to leave. They didn't want cookies. They wanted to ask me questions. And they were asking me really important questions for these little guys. I think they were looking at a guy in a wheelchair that maybe they didn't want to be like. You know, most people that are in front of them, they go, well, if I just had your life, then I would be so much happier. But uh, then a couple of little kids came up and said, is there anything I can do for you? They saw me as somebody they could help instead of them just being the ones to be helped. And that inspired me. And uh, I, was, I was not feeling well. And uh, that just gave me some hope and inspiration. These young kids that are going to go back home to their parents and not have the life I had. Hold on. So, I got interrupted in my talk to you, but it was about time for me to be done. Hey, this is Ron Hagee. To your inspiration, keep your eyes up. Even though it's tough, you got to keep going. And I'll come at you later with another word of encouragement. God bless you. Thanks for being my supporter. Trying to talk to you around my mouse stick. And without this, I can't shut the phone off. I can't shut the computer off. Love you guys. Thanks.